Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I have this cute cute kind of burgundy auburnish um, copper wig and I'm obsessed. I really wanted to try the side bang type of look and this is my first time attempting this so it's probably not the best but I'll be tweaking it up um, throughout this week and try to make it perfect but really really cute wig this is from mega look hair and i'll put the link down below for the exact um same wig as this one but i believe it is the fair 33 wig um in transparent lace and 13 by 4 um i didn't really have any problems um it's just transparent lace, so you do have to tint it a bit more than hd lace um and then the wig cap the way it's made i feel like there's a bit more lace um, but I've noticed that's like pretty common with mega look videos, so it should be able to fit different head sizes and everything. Um, other than that, this was really simple. If you guys want to know how I created this look and how I did this install, then keep on watching. So I've already done the bald cap like I normally do. And here is the wig. I just want to show you guys how I plucked it. It's just like regular plucking, but I didn't bleach the knots. It wasn't needed, but let's see a little bit yeah I didn't bleach the knots just because it wasn't that dark so felt like it should be fine but here's how the colors looking really really cute it's not all the way like a burgundy it does have like a hint of like orange so very pretty um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace before I uh, glue it on just to make sure that it matches me better all right so just I just want to show you guys the lace type it is um, a transparent lace that is pretty thick it's on the thicker side but um it's not bad at all it can make it work i have tried this lace before um and this was the highlight wig that i had tried the longer one um a couple months ago that was the same lace so similar vibe all right let's try this on hopefully this one fits better than my last video that one was a little annoying this wig does come with a band like thicker band. So I think with that one. Yeah, this definitely fits way better than my last install. So that's great. So let me just cut off this excess lace. Or I might need to cut around my ears. Okay, let me fix the back first. Okay, I think I've cut the excess lace off. Um, it's kind of oddly made. Um, it's more of like the... I don't explain it, it just fits a little weird on your head. So you do have to cut and make sure it fits you comfortably. And I adjusted the straps in the back so it's nice and tight. Now it is time to make those dots. So I know where I'm putting the glue. Yeah, let's just do that first. Something like this. I don't like them too far back because I just don't want glue around my hairline. So this is what I normally do. Um, I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to cut some right here. Just because it's a little thick. And looks like I have to do more cutting. Oh my goodness. So much lace on the sides. Alright. Just make the dots. All right, we've got this. The marks, I'm just gonna clean this area up with some uh, alcohol, kind of hand sanitizer, and then I'll be going in with my Bold Hold Active and do about three layers. All right, now let's match up the dots. So now that everything is stuck, I'm just gonna put the melting band on. Of course, using my melting bands. Then I'll be back in about five minutes. All right, so it's time to cut the lace. Okay. 
And I'm gonna use a combination of scissors and an eyebrow razor. Right, I might put a little bit of tint, just a tiny, tiny bit. Just gonna make sure it blends. And while this is doing its thing, I'm just gonna straighten the rest of the wig. So I'm gonna straighten it and then curl at the ends. And I'll show how I'm doing that as I go along. But first, I'm gonna be putting the chi silk infusion and then just styling the wig so i'm just like twisting the ends up like that i don't want really i don't want this to be perfect okay i like i'm just doing little curls at the end I will be cutting layers, so I'm gonna cut this section shorter. So my plan with this wig is to cut it short eventually, but just for the meantime, I wanna see it longer. So this is how we're currently looking. Not bad. It's definitely gonna be like a work in progress type of look. So now for the frontal area, I'm just gonna straighten everything, do the parts, do the bang, and then curl. Right. Get this off. This is what we're working with right now. Just gonna clean up the little dots. And let me find the part. I'm thinking of doing the side part because I'm gonna do the bangs as well. I'm gonna do my wax stick. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the baby hairs. Not too many. We just like exaggerate the ones here and there. I realized I forgot my little um, little straightening iron, curling iron. So I'm just gonna use my big straightener to kind of get a little bend in the edges and then I'll loose them up and lay them and try to finish the rest real quick. I don't know if I could do this. Oh, it worked. Okay, before I burn myself even more. Let me clip all this up. A lot of bottom loose and I'm just gonna make some tint in there quickly lay these. I'll have to fix the edges up later. Wait for that to do its thing. Wait, let me put some tint up here too. I don't know if this is like that. I might have to wait for that to dry so I can finish the bangs, but I'll just put them aside right now. Okay, I now know how to do this. So I just need a deep part. Then all of this will go to the side. Comes bangs here will become bangs and the rest like that I think. Okay, the baby hair should be fine. Didn't turn out that bad. 
were as bad as I thought they were going to. Okay, let's cut the banks. A little scary. Oh, I already see the vision. Do you guys see it? Cute. Okay, let's. I'm just worried about this part. I lost the picture, but let me just do this first. I'm starting really long. Curl this. Okay, it's actually working. Do you guys see it? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, okay. It's actually not that bad. Let me make this a little shorter. Or something's poking my eye, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I think it is working. I might just add a little. Or, you know what, I'm just leave it like this for now. And then if I need to add anything next time, I could. Or maybe I'll add a little. That's actually really, really cute. Okay, now let me just finish this hair. Okay, this thing's about to die soon. So let me hurry up. Just layers is all I'm adding right now. Honestly, that should be good. Now we style. I don't want it to be too styled. I feel like I brought the wrong tool. I should have definitely used a curling iron. It's okay. Still made it work. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. All right, guys. So I think this is the final look. I. I think I'm happy with it, but I feel like I could also tweak it up and I probably will on my TikTok if you guys go follow me on there. It is the same. I think it's still Delizzle on there. Um, and I, I should be, I don't know, I kind of want to fix it up. I might make it shorter or something, but for right now, this is definitely works. So. But for as of right now, this is the final look. We are all done. Are you pleased with how it looks? It's very, very cute. Only thing is, like, I wish the lace was a little bit better, but I already knew that this was going to be um, a, a transparent wig. Uh, but other than that, really cute. The hair feels really, really soft. So good right now. It was easy to work with. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to try other styles or if you want a tutorial on another type of style. If you did enjoy, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys want to see pictures um, or videos on this hair, then follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm more active on there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.